My name is Billy Carroll. I'm the contingency coordinator for the Comp Performance Group. Basically, we reward customers who use our product, and um, uh, so when a racer wins using our product, we reward them either in the form of cash or certificate, depending on the way that the contingency program is set up. Um, a lot of the times you'll see the decal on the race car, and on one hand it is because the contingency pays out based on uh, them running the product in the decal, and the other is they're a longtime supporter of the comp performance brand, and so they're happy to display the, the decal. Yeah, when I was a kid, we'd always go to, the every Saturday night there was something going on. Um, usually circle track racing, uh, you know, with drag racing sprinkled in between, but there was always something going on. So my father was a manager at uh, Speed World in Miami, which was a big uh, performance outlet wholesaler. And a lot of the guys that were his delivery drivers were local short track racers or drag racers. And so in the summertime, instead of going to any summer camp or anything like that, I preferred to go down to my dad's work and I'd skateboard through the warehouse and, and all that. But when the drivers were ready to make their runs, I would just hop in the van with one of them and we'd go to all the local speed shops. So I got to know all of the locals down there. And, and South Florida was a very, um, a very popular place for the performance aftermarket. For about the first 10 or 11 years of my life, my dad worked for Crane Cams. And it being the industry being as small as it is, it's just kind of ironic that now I'm working for a competitor of Crane. The beauty of this job is that I'm, I, I mean, I understand what it takes to go racing and what these guys do. I think a lot of people that look at it from the outside may just think, well, this guy's got a lot of money or they are able to do this. I don't care what level you're at or how much money you've got. There's a ton of work that's involved. Work either through yourself or through your friends. There's a lot of support that make that happen. And it doesn't matter if you're the weekend guy that has a couple of buddies helping him or a guy that's going racing across the country. It takes a large number of people to make that happen. And so I think having that in the background or the back of my mind, you know, I'm able to look at these guys out there racing and I realize just how much it takes to go racing. And, uh, and I don't take it lightly. You know, I'm very fortunate in the job that I have that I can go to the races, I can be there with my friends, I get to see them do great. Um, and at the end of the weekend, I come home and I'm a family guy. My normal night when I come home is just watching a little bit of TV, relaxing. Um, I play some video games with my daughter. We do some first person shooter type games. And so uh, I'm not very good at it. She's very good at it. But it's a uh, good family time spent together. So that's probably, if I had a hobby, I guess that'd be about it. There are no bad jokes. There's no bad jokes. Um, I mean, one that just came up this week, I was joking with a friend of mine with, uh, with another couple, and, uh, and I mentioned that a friend of mine uh, told me that every now and then just I should flip and I said, and what? But. <laughs> So maybe that could maybe that could go in the outtakes one. I don't know.